have the pleasure of sitting down with not one, but two cowboys. Both of them live in this town, and they just happen to be one of the most iconic country duels of all time. That's right, folks. We're getting ready to go visit Big Kenny and John Rich, AKA Big and Rich. And we're gonna find out if these guys are as yin and yang as what I've heard. I've heard it, it's like this guy's this way and this guy's this way, but somehow they come together, they create some amazing music. First, I'm gonna go talk to Big Kenny, get some dirt on John. And then we're gonna go to John's house and get some dirt on Kenny. And then we're gonna bring them all together and we're gonna see what's going on. We'll do a little jam at the end. So uh, let's go see who's really big and who's really rich. We have arrived at uh, Mr. Big Kenny's house. Now, the question I had about Big and Rich, now we know at least one thing, this is a big house and you would have to be rich to own it. <laughs> so yeah, let's go inside and see what these boys are up to. This is cool, man, wow. Yo, anybody home? Yo, <laughs> Kenny, how are you, man? <laughs> what are you doing, buddy? Damn, I should have worn some platforms or something, man. Big Kenny ain't to work well, for it. There we go. Head. There we, we go. Go. Get, go. Get on, on your knees. Hat on. Yeah, yeah, to give you an extra couple, four inches. How are you, man? Hey, Thanks for having me. Welcome to the Chateau de Amore and the University of Creativity. Damn, I can understand why. <laughs> how about the pub of love? Well, you know me in a pub. I, we get along. I've never seen a pub I didn't like. So yeah. I understand you're like a creative guy, like you build all kinds of stuff and I'm driving up here and say, oh, Kenny made that, oh, Kenny made that, and he does this and does that. Yeah, Wow. Yeah. I've been building a, building a few things most of my life, you know. Yeah. So what's it like in Nashville? I mean, this town has come crazy. How, how long have you lived what's here? What's it like, like in that since 1994, man? I'm well, this, here a summer in this ain't 1994. the same Nashville you moved to. No. What's changed about it? What's, what's Oh, golly. Uh, it's just, it's, it's grown so much, but the heart of it, has stayed exactly what I saw when I came here. Still and about when music. I came here to Music City USA, I saw music everywhere. And people were just putting their heart and soul into it every day, and I just jumped right in here. I came the summer of 1994, uh, August, and by October, I had a band together, and I was playing three, four nights a week. Hey, if you can't find a musician in this town. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Like you say, you know, ask the guy pumping your gas if nothing else. <laughs> yeah, I play guitar. I write songs, too, by the way, you know. Yeah. So what's, what's your favorite song you've ever written for somebody favorite else? song I've ever written for somebody else. Not just because it was the most famous. It's the one that you Ooh. really feel you brought that home for that person. And well, I didn't know that I brought it home for that person. Maybe it brought it home for that person and me, but... The song uh, "Last Dollar" it just means so much to me. I wrote it in two thousand. Fly away was it? Fly away. Yeah, fly away. Yeah, yeah. Last dollar, fly away. Uh, I had written it uh, in two thousand two. I was in between record deals, which in Nashville that's a kind of way of saying I was broke again. <laughs> <coughs> and uh, I'm up in a, this like suite in Vegas. I'd never seen anything like it before. We're looking down over all this crowd and everything, and it's about two o'clock in the morning. I'm thinking to myself, "Well, I'm going to be going home, and it's the first of the month." I gotta figure out how I'm gonna pay my bills. And I needed about $1,500 to keep everything to the, going. You didn't go straight to the roulette table? <laughs> no, nope, I went straight to the blackjack table. Exactly. Oh, it's, oh we're God, thinking I was similar. Just, I was just joking. We're, this think, a, we're thinking similar here, but I went to the blackjack shit. table and I played up about till between 2 and 5 a.m. I'd taken my, my couple hundred, whatever I had left of that, a hundred bucks. I had to eat, you know, while I was there. And that ain't cheap. <laughs> and uh, I'd gotten it up to $800, man. I'd won 10 wow. pans in a row. And I thought to myself, if I just push this out there one more time, I'm on a roll, I'll double it, everything will be great. I get home, I got everything covered. And? So I did it. I pushed it out there, and by golly, she deals around, and wham, dealer gets a blackjack. I had two chips left. I had a $20 chip and a $1 chip. I gave her the $20 chip, and I said, thank you very much. You were awesome to play with. And I grabbed that $1 chip, and I said, I'm going to keep this because I might need a little something to start over with. Went up to my hotel room. I sat down on the bed, went to pull my boots off, and the heel come right off the bottom of my boot. I laid down on the bed, looked up, and said, what next, Lord? Oh, and in 30 minutes, man. it was, I'm down to my last dollar. I've walked right through my shoes, a friendly small reminder of all the hell that I've gone through. But look at me still smiling because I'm wondering what I'll do because since I ain't got nothing, i got nothing to lose. Speaking about putting your heart and soul Lean in. Lean on me. Lean on me when you're, when you're not, not strong. And I'll, I'll be your friend. And I'll help, help you carry on. on. It won't be long till I'm going to need somebody to lean on. Yeah, yeah. Oh, 
man, there's my brother. Wait a minute, what sign are you? I, I got to get down to the real tax here. Are you, are you a Libra? Am I what? A Libra? What sign are you? Scorpion. Oh, well, shit, you're my next door neighbor. I'm a there you go. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Come on out. Oh, yeah, Let me sure. show you the outside. Yeah, sure. You, you, what? Some of okay. my favorites, the outside. I love Damn. my plants. Damn. Yeah, my flowers, my oh, trees. Man. Come on, man. This is just, yeah. this has got Farm soul. Wood. But here's my, my favorite room in the house, man. This is my shop. Uh, and this takes me back, to the, this. First takes all, me this back a, to the farm. This is a beauty. Yeah, yeah. Love, love Cruiser. 2006, <laughs> the Love Cruiser love 1, cruiser. the Love Cruiser 2. And look at this, buddy. Oh, man. I was telling you about that, that, that story in there about uh, me, you know, driving nails. And this guy says you ought to be in the, you ought to, you ought to go to Nashville here. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm there on a job site. I've got my 22-ounce checker face framing hammer. Is that what framing that is? This, yep, that's an S-wing 22-ounce checker face framing hammer. And this right here, one of my others, that's a 26. This hammer's got soul. This hammer's got soul. I can feel this so thing, So that's man. what I was holding. This baby has made, has pounded some nails it's in some shit. That's a nails. heavy hammer, though. Yeah, I feel that one. 26 ounces. Damn, wait. Imagine swinging that all day, right? <laughs> So I'm going pop back before all them pneumatic nailers are out. Pop, pop. And I, I'm, I'm framing up this curve wall and a dude beside me says, Kenny, you're always singing to the radio. You ought to go to Nashville. I hear they pay people to make music down there. And I remember standing up and laying my hammer, my 22 <laughs> ounce chucker face, <laughs> S-wing frame hammer down on a sawhorse and going, you gotta be kidding me. They pay people to make music. <laughs> And lo and behold, it was a, Yes, they do. Yes, lo they and do. behold, and, and evidence and is behold. here. Yeah, yeah. Well, unfortunately, I got to go see your buddy here. Tell me something about him that nobody else knows. Tell me something about Mr. Rich. Tell you something about John Rich. That, that nobody that else knows. Because I'm going to go see him. I don't, just like you, I walked yeah. in naked here, you yeah. know, yeah. and you enlightened me. Yeah. So yeah. what am I looking forward to when I go meet John there? Or what am I going to find out? Yeah. Well, uh, John is, is a kindred soul and brother. He has a, you know, an undeniable energy, and I think that's really what brought us together so with, with this work ethic that we knew we could achieve something. But John is one of the foremost authorities on uh, old country music, or, since wow. we're speaking about that. And, and my nickname for him is Johnny Jukebox. Oh, okay. And, there you, you know, go. I mean, some people go. know him really well. They be around him. And they'll go, yeah, this guy's you know, pretty good. But then they, you get around him for a little bit and start just naming songs. Next thing you know, he's popping them up. Saying, Johnny Jukebox. Like Johnny Jukebox, man. Johnny Jukebox. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I could spend the whole day with you. <clears throat> yeah, yeah. I'm yeah. telling you. And the other thing is he loves Peace, Love, and Happy Hour, Pub and Bar Nuts, just as much as you're going to love them, going with those tequilas and all the great drinks that you're continuing to make and bring to the people out there, which I think is also important. You know, we find things in life that we truly love and are passionate about. For me, you know, we've been raising peanuts in Virginia. For That's unbelievable. For These are your own peanuts from your family. Everybody ought to have. That makes it special. Yeah. That's yeah. not just putting yeah. your name on yeah. something. Yeah. Old Cousin Rex got 300 acres in the ground this year. Bring it on. <laughs> I'll see you in a while. Awesome, we're gonna buddy. Pick one Looking later. forward to it. We're going to jam a little, okay. right? Yes, a sir. We all. Jam a little more? That's what I'd really like yes, to do all day long here. You and I get in that room in there. We might not come yeah. out. Well, Big Kenny, down. One down. But I can tell by looking at this car that we're going to interview a whole different guy here with John Rich. I've been told that these two guys are yin and yang, and we're about to find out, man. But look at this. Trans Am. <laughs> I want to go for a ride later. I'm just going to walk in to you. These guys are these guys are friendly guys. They're country boys. Hello, man. sir. John, wait, I almost didn't recognize you. Welcome to Nashville. How are you, sir? <laughs> Thank you, sir. Thank Good you for inviting you, me to your house. Absolutely. Come on I appreciate in. Uh, just looking at that car. Oh, you saw the car. Me, yeah, I had to give him a little. Hey, bandit. down boy, down boy. I'm glad you like it. <laughs> oh, I do. I, yeah. I wrote a song, Trans Am. But yeah. John, wow, what a great house you have. You guys are Thanks, growing man. hard. You and your buddy over there, man. I just left his house. Oh, big, large Kenneth, as we call him. Yeah, well, yeah. big and rich. You know, you yeah. guys start off with a name like that. First of all, before you're known. Right. Just came out with that shit. And Boom. You, know, it, you got to put it out there if it's ever well, going to happen. Right? Did, man. You had you got my attention though with the song. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> when I heard "Ride a Cowboy," I'm going, wait a minute. <laughs> These guys know what they're that doing. That almost sounds like something you'd say. It does. I know. Yeah. I know. How yeah. did you come up with it? Who came up with that line? Man, it, Kenny and I, we've written everything from seeing something on a bumper sticker to somebody, something somebody said in a bar somewhere, probably about like you, and we just thought that was one of the craziest things we'd ever heard. And if we could ever make 
that crazy phrase into a song, people would probably listen to it. Yeah, they would. I'll tell you, our record label said that'll never be a single. Probably shouldn't put it on the record. It's too much. But then the fans heard it and started requesting it. Next thing you know, it's been our biggest song. Those are the best hits. Well, damn. What else you got in this big ass? You want place? me to show you around? Yeah, big and rich ain't. It's an, under, but it's an understatement, by the way. <laughs> step on, the, <laughs> step on the rock and roll elevator, my man. You ain't had these crazy fools in this elevator, <laughs> have you? No, they haven't been in this elevator Gene yet. Be bumping his head. I on know, the roof. right? <laughs> He's bigger than big. One yeah. of my favorite voices of all time. Merle Haggard. I'm telling you, rolling downhill. That song. I'll be rolling downhill like snowball oh, yeah. headed for, for hell. The way he hits mm -hmm. that low note. All right, so this <laughs> is now, what we call the J R Bar. That's what this is called. Uh, so basically, <laughs> Kenny, Kenny has a studio in his house. Yes, I have the live does. music venue. You know, so who parties the hardest, you or Kenny? I guess. Who parties the hardest? Yeah, I mean, this is, looks to we, me like maybe this is where the party might be. If you want to do the party in real time, it's happening in here. Is so that, this is, we've had every, I've had everybody from Twisted Sister to Lil John to George Jones. Who's singing played on that stage? George Jones have been on that George stage? George Jones Stop has been it. on that stage. Uh, Ricky Skaggs. Oh, uh, I mean, the Kid Rock, on and on and on. But it's so like, he goes, he goes, he goes. Just to the A. E, A, E, A, the whole song. How many awards you got? Look at all these ASCAP things. This is uh, what these I'm jealous are of. This songwriter is what, stuff. This is what pisses me <laughs> off, okay? You country guys. What, would this be maybe the, your favorite? What's, what are you most proud of? That's a big of? What one. song are you most proud of? I mean, it doesn't oh. have to be the biggest one sometimes. But, no, it's not the but, biggest one but sometimes. Damn, that's a big song. Redneck that, Woman, I'm really proud. It's a career song. You know, Gretchen grew up real tough uh, in Southern Illinois. And as I was getting to know her, you know, she's sitting there smoking a cigarette, spitting dip, and <laughs> drinking a Miller Lite. You, she needs to be on your show, by the way. And, uh, <laughs> she's next. <laughs> and she says, I don't think I'm going to ever be able to do this. And I said, do what? And she points at the TV, and there's like a country music video on of Shania Twain. She goes, that, I'm never gonna be that pretty, that slick, that pop. If that's what it takes, I can't do it. I'm just a redneck woman. And I said, boom. I said, you're exactly right. And I said, think about Loretta Lynn. Instead of sanding off your edges, put a magnifying glass on what you don't think's perfect about you. You'll be surprised how many millions of people feel exactly the same uh, way. Probably more You'll become way. their hero. So in 45 minutes from that conversation, we had written Redneck Woman. Anyway, I you. could keep showing Look you stuff, you. but I hear Big Kenny's heading over. You want to go to the roof? I haven't shown yeah, you that yet. Yeah, you want to meet Kenny yeah, up yeah, on the yeah. roof? Yeah, I want to do this song with you guys, but now, before Kenny gets here, I asked him something about you, and, and he told me, and it's not worth repeating. <laughs> I'm sure it's not. <laughs> I'm not surprised <laughs> well, by that. What can you tell me about Kenny that nobody knows, that, that only you know, because you guys are oh, so Oh, wow. Close. You know, Kenny, he comes across as a guy that's just probably sitting around all the time do, by the pool or whatever. That's one of the most hardworking dudes you've ever met. Yeah, he wore me his out. His whole life. No, he wore me out. It's like I went over there trying to get a word in edgewise, man. He, he, he goes at it with everything energy. he's got, and that's one of the things that he and I are exactly the same as work ethic. Neither one of us are lazy. Neither one of us, uh, you know, take it anything less than deadly serious, and we want to go succeed and do great for our families and great for our, for our names. And I think that's one big thing that's kept us together. That boy will work right there. Hey, the Red Rocker Sammy Hagar here, back with Big and Rich. Got them both in the same house now. You know, we've been to, we've been to Rich's house, and then we went to Big's. No, we went to Big's house, and then we went to Rich's house, and then we uh, now we're all here together at uh, this rooftop. Look at on this the place. Roof. The, the roof. roof. The and roof. The roof is on you guys, fire. You guys know how to live. Is what I was saying. Like I go to Rockstar's house, and man, the place are tore up. I said, you guys' houses are immaculate. They're like artsy and. Beautiful and we got know. good wives. Is that what it is? Yeah, it's all. Well, most all I can't say that. <laughs> well, I can't say that for most rock stars, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> I do though. I'm the only one that has You're a good wife. Good. Oh, good. Whoa, whoa. <laughs> so my wife's are doing great. My wife's actually born on the same day as John. I know we have the that's same so birthday. That's so crazy. Yeah, and my yeah. dad is born the day before that. So. And Elvis so, the day after. So that's a good little run. Yeah. yeah. What do you guys think of Elvis? I think he was the best, biggest star that wow. ever in the Come music on, industry. That guy was. How many people? Man. How many people define a whole genre of music? Elvis Presley, rock and roll. He, he laid, was the baddest. He, he just laid it all out there. Did you ever meet him? Anyone of you guys? Mm -hmm. No, unfortunately. Yeah, he went too soon, like a lot of them. Mm. Yeah. Okay, I have this little thing called this or that. Now, 
being a Scorpio and a Capricorn, you guys are going to have any trouble with this. It's when you get these Pisces and Libras like myself, and you say, well, you know, I'm saying, well, maybe, ain't, you know, it ain't none of that. You just, boom, come right off the top of your head. Okay, ready? As long as it's all on numbers under 10, we got it covered. <laughs> Brooks and Dunn are the Judds. Judds. Wow. Well, you know, we went on tour with Brooks and Dunn, so I'm going to go Brooks and You Dunn. have to then, okay. Writing for yourself or writing for other people? I just love to write. Uh, other people. Boom. Mm. In the studio or on stage? stage? Stage. Yeah, I'm with you. Amen. Okay. Fame or fortune or basically big or rich? <laughs> <laughs> Fame is fun for a second, <laughs> then I get tired of it, right? It was, it was a trick things, question. It was things. a trick They're question. They're interlinked, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> I tell you what, I never thought we'd get famous enough that we'd have, by God, Sammy Hagar sitting up on the roof jamming on our Gibson guitar. And right. loving it. That. And loving it, Hope by the way. Hope you had a good yeah, time yeah. in Nashville, man. It's an awesome thing to have you here. I'm We're big fans. We came to your show before we knew each other. Yeah. 1995, when you we just figured it out. We didn't even know each other then. Yeah. Wow. And we I were both coming. there at the same show. I love that part of life when things come around and you say, hey, I was there or you were there and I, yeah. I didn't, you know, that's, yeah. that's awesome. That's yeah, great. man. It was well, a great was show. Was I good? Was I good that night? You, and you smoked it, man. No, I remember you saying man. something about Alex smelled like garlic so bad you couldn't hardly walk past the drum kit, right? <laughs> Brother, there's like a pizza parlor up there, like Italian, like <laughs> a cheap you, Italian I restaurant. I think you said that. Pizza's good. Pizza's <laughs> good. Yeah, pizza's good. You know about that. It's good. So this year's song, obviously the coolest damn country song to come along, change the Change country to me. I mean, this. I think this really broke some rules and got away with it, and then everybody jumped on. You know, you guys are early on this, and, and I think it's something to be really proud of, you know, Trailblazers. And uh, I've been listening to it for the last two days. So first of all, I'll say congratulations on it, and congratulations on everything that you guys have done. Thank you. And congratulations on what you're going to keep doing in the future. But let's give it a little bit of this, and I'm going to try to, I'm gonna try to read these lyrics. This song's got more lyrics. I could have wrote a whole album. From, yeah. from this. You know what this is? I just realized this is big and rich and richer. <laughs> oh, yeah. oh, hell no. Yeah. Now look at me. Fame, oh, fortune, no. and mega fortune. No, you look at this. Hey. Uh, I love those, uh, those. Look at those. Look at those. They're, they're toe stomper proof. He gets it. Oh, he, pr he probably yeah. owns the patent on those. Exactly. <laughs> it goes like this. Three, four. Oh. Huh. Walk into the room, passing out hundred dollar bills and it kills and it thrills like the horns on my Silverado grill. And out by the bar, double round the crown, and everybody's getting down in this town. It ain't never gonna be the same. Cause I saddle up my horse and I ride into the city. I make a lot of noise, cause the girls, they are so pretty. Be riding up and down Broadway on my old studly road And the girls say, save a horse, ride a cowboy And everybody say, save a horse, ride a cowboy Well, I don't give a damn about nothing I'm singing and playing, playing while the girls are drinking Long nights down and I wouldn't trade on Leroy Chevrolet for your Escalade, your freak parade. I'm the only John Wayne left in this town. And I saddle up my horse and I ride into the city. I make a lot of noise, tell the girls they are so pretty. Be riding up and down the way on my old stud Leroy. And the girls say, save a horse, ride a cowboy. And everybody say, save a horse, ride a cowboy. Mr. Sammy Hagar. Save a heart, ride a cow.